I am getting ready to make some bookmarks for my Daughters of the American Revolution chapter. And we are celebrating America's 250th birthday next year. And in honor of that, we have a book club, the America 250 Book Club. I wanted to make these bookmarks for the book club. And I decided I would customize an existing design from Designs by Juju. And I want to show you how I did that. I used Embrilliance Enthusiast. This is a perfect example of why you would want Embrilliance Enthusiast to customize existing designs. I will link to Embrilliance below the video and throughout this tutorial I will be using Embrilliance Essentials to merge designs and Embrilliance Enthusiast to customize designs. I want to open up a new tab to show you how I built this. So I'm going to come up here to this icon up in the upper left hand corner and it says new. I'm just going to click it and then that gives you a new tab up here that you can work on. So I'm going to go back over here to tab three and go back to what I was doing. When you're choosing a bookmark to customize or any kind of design you're going to customize, there are many bookmarks on the Designs by Juju website that are freestanding lace. They are stitched onto fibrous water soluble stabilizer and when the design is finished you wash away the stabilizer and the lace all holds together and it retains its beautiful design. I do not recommend this process for freestanding lace bookmarks because if it's not done absolutely correctly when you rinse away the stabilizer the bookmark will fall apart. I chose a bookmark that has a fabric background and I chose this seven inch make your own magic right here because I wanted that book. That's really what I was after. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it over and drop it into the Embrilliance embroidery field. And you can click the plus sign over here in the objects panel. And we can go through and take a look at all of the elements that make up the design. There is the placement line for the fleece. There's the tack down for the fleece and there is the tack down for the fabric. And now we're getting into the floral spray with the leaves. There's the leaves. I don't need those. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and make it go away. There are some flowers. Hit delete. More flowers. These flowers and magic are the same, but I'm going to hit delete. I don't want either one of those. And then here are uh, some detail outline stitches for the flowers. I'm going to hit delete on that as well. Then I'm going to get in here and look and see here are the pages for the book. And then we have the letters make and own. And I don't need that. I'm going to hit delete. Okay. Now, if you look at this next one, the cover of the book, and the word your are the same design. You cannot delete the word your without also deleting the cover of the book. And this is where Embrilliance Enthusiast comes in. And this is where the magic is great for this particular type of customization that you might want to do. So I am going to come up here. If you have Enthusiast, you will see this little arrow right up there. It looks like a pointer and there it's pointing at a stitch and so I'm going to click it. And when I click it, I get a new sub menu under here. But you can see when I clicked it, if I zoom in, see all these little gray dots? If I come in, I'm going to click over here on this little sidebar. You can really see the little gray dots in there. Those are the individual stitch points throughout the design. And you can see, I'll let go of it, but you can see there is a jump stitch right there that goes from the cover of the book down to the word your. Well, I want to get rid of this word. We have a freehand select tool, which means you can drag it wherever you want all over the screen. And here is a square, I'm gonna, or the rectangle. I'm gonna use that. All I'm gonna do is just drag that rectangle over the word I want to get rid of and highlight it. See how it highlighted all of those stitch points? And I'm going to hit delete there. Not only did it make the word your go away, it also got rid of that jump stitch and in brilliance automatically created a tie off on that color because it's not needed anymore. That's a really, really neat thing. 
And that's all I need to do with this part of the design where I would need enthusiast. So I will just click off of the enthusiast mode and stitch edit mode. And I'm back to where I want it to be. And I'm still now I can customize this even further. So in Embrilliance Essentials, which is the base, if you're a beginner, you would really want Embrilliance Essentials first and then Enthusiast if you ever find that you are in this situation where you only want part of the design and not all of the design. So I am going to come down here to uh, this folder. I, I file everything in my embroidery file on my computer like a subject by subject like a card catalog. So here is this flourishing patriotism 4x4. It's designs by Juju as well. And I'm going to just grab it and drag it onto the field. And let me minimize this. And here it is, real pretty America. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag it down pretty far. Let me turn it to the side so that it is oriented the way I want it. I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to drag it down as far as it will go just about to give me the room that I want. And then now I'm going to click on the book parts. I need the pages, the cover, and the spine. And I'm going to come over here and just drag these down and get that centered real nice. I'm going to come up to the A and over here in the properties box. If you cannot see objects or properties, come over here to the view menu and under toolbars and windows and make sure that these are checked, objects and property. I usually check everything so I can see everything at one time. Over here in the text now, I want to type 250 and hit enter. That's not the font that I want. I want it to be the Marcus font. That's a nice bold. Designs by Juju Marcus. And I use the one inch. There we go. That looks really good. Okay. And then I need book club. So I will hit A again and go enter. That's not the right font. I'll go back to the fin what I was doing before. And we'll use the fin half inch. There we go. And I will drag that down one more time. Hit the A again and type in club. And then drag that down here. And then I want to make these farther apart. And in Brilliance is automatically re-stitch calculating the stitches on all of these. I might go with a one inch on that. I like the fin, but I might go with a one inch. Yes, that's better. That looks better. Okay. And then to make sure everything's all lined up properly, I will go control A on the keyboard and I will come up here to the align and distribute icon. And here is vertical alignment. This is horizontal alignment. I'm going to click center on everything and click apply. There we go. And click close. That looks great. Now I can go through and change out my colors to the colors that I want. And I can also uh, make multiples like I did here. And I spent a considerable amount of time going through and reordering all of the stitches. If you are so inclined to make multiples of bookmarks, you might want to do that so that that's another lesson for another day. I don't want this to go on forever, but there's the placement line for bookmark number one, bookmark number two, number three, number four, tack down for one, and so on. So everything stitches in the same order. In the end, I have final satin stitching, final, final, final. And that's how that will work. That took me a lot of time to get that in that order. 
and you just do it by dragging these into the order that you want them to be in. I've showed that in a lot of other videos and I'll link to one right up here that also shows that. So that is why you would want in Brilliance Enthusiast to be able to modify existing designs to customize them for what you really need them to be. I hope it was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the tutorial and we will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.